So Amy Carter will get us underway in this one. Both teams yet to taste the win. Very keen to do so on this occasion. Corbin to Fisher. England looking to get the first points on the board. Back to Carter. Here's Fisher. Oh, I thought she was going to go for it early, but <laughs> saw the smart offload to keep it short, get the points on the board, get settled. So Corbin gets England on the board. Angola, high up at the transverse line. And you really have to, you don't often want your goal shooter coming all the way out of the circle right to the transverse, but lacking a wing attack, you need that extra attacking burst. Up to Mvula, up against her Manchester Thunder teammate in Emma Dovey. So one apiece early days. Steady start from both sides. Yeah, oh, again, nice patient work. Just moving the ball around the top of the circle, trying to open up the angles. Fisher for two. Good start from the youngster. You can tell straight off the hand, can't you, when it looks good? a great young character too, George Fisher, only 20 years of age, made her debut for the England senior team against Jamaica a couple of weeks ago. A real star of the future, that is for sure. Next to the goal, Kate. Next to the goal, Kate. Well, Gus goes a long way from home here, penalty outside the circle. Good opportunity for Malawi. Here's a ball up, strong front position, goes for the easy one point up. Nice change of direction from Corbin. Gets the pace moving forward quickly. Fisher for two again. Strong rebound from Nguera. Well, again, Bula a long way out. But it does make a big difference. The connection comes quite easily from that movement. Good spoil from Layla Guskoff. So, Galetta takes the throw in along the goal line. Did too much on it, but Mbula good enough to pick up the scraps. Patient up the build up here, Malawi. Patient, but it's almost because they have to be, don't they? They're just lacking an option up the top of the circle. It's there, but it comes slowly. Chimalero here, chance for two points. Buckets out and a throw in for England. That's it. On the ball contact centre. Let it go. Yes. Here's Carter. Corbin. Double play with Dovey. On the move quickly. Corbin, when she puts her foot down, gosh, she gets places quickly, doesn't she? Power plus player. Good from two point range. Not quite. But the beauty of having someone like a Fisher in it under the post is you're going to get those rebounds. Gives you the confidence to put those longer shots up. Speaking of long shots, Fisher again. Just across the face of goal. So away come Malawi. Nguera. Chimalero. Mvula. That's the letter again. Oh, nice! <laughs> it's a tough one for defenders, isn't it? Because it's not the traditional game where you normally would guard the post and try and keep them away. That one can be a challenging one. When are they going to go for the long shot? When do they want an easy one? That's delay, centre. Delay, yeah, advance it up this way. So a delay with the substitutions there was the call from the umpire. A little bit too slow getting onto court. So Panagheri is in the middle for England and Ella Clark in a goal attack. And Panagari out of play for her efforts. <laughs> nice turn from Mbula. Held the space beautifully. Sunk the two-pointer just as nicely. Three apiece here. Just under two minutes to go in the opening quarter. And just like that, Lawazi's entered the game. That was a seamless sub. A little firecracker in the middle. Fisher for two for England. A little bit hard out of the hand early for Fisher. Ella Clark mops it up. Very patriotic hairdo. 
Dovey, easy pickings for her down back for England as they come away with the turnover. Jodie Gibson in a goalkeeper now. The captain. Gary to Fisher. That defensive supporting attack up on the transverse line makes such a difference when you're lacking a wing attack. Well, good contest there. A little bit soft on the hands was Fisher. See it every throw in the goal defence, always taking the baseline throwing for Malawi. A little bit non traditional. Gus Koff, nice the challenge there. So 40 seconds to play here, Malawi by a point against the defending champions. Lawazi. Oh, beautiful defensive pressure from England. They did have a player under the post, but just couldn't get it there in time. And Mvula, an intercept on her name. So back and forward quite quickly. 20 seconds, Mvula. They've got time if they run it quickly here, England. They need to move with purpose down this court with a bit of authority. Guskov, Fisher, Ivan oh, Guerra, all over it. Had a standout first quarter, hasn't she? In absolutely everything in Guerra. Well, a really clunky opening six minutes to this match, but it's Malawi with their noses in front. They lead by a point against England, five points to four. It is, and it, you know, both of their power plays weren't great the last game, so it feels like that first quarter just trying to chip away at it, get some points. England will have their power play, the Deakin power play in the third turn. Malawi will run it home in the fourth. So one more standard quarter for both teams just to get themselves with the upper hand. And again, Naguira, Hand in everything. Here's Lawazi. Back to Vincumbo. Contact center. And Gary all over Lawazi. Two point shot. Oh, Gus took a long time to come off the hand. Ended up being a beautiful pass. And Buller will clean that one up. Great pressure from Gaskoff over the shot. Here's Ella Clark. Played 40 matches for the Great Britain basketball team. What an overachiever. <laughs> Isn't she just? Three. 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 Yes. Three point range. Uh, Gaskoff, great hands. And quick on the pick up and gather two. Well, that's done. tough too, isn't it? She got the tip from behind and then had to get herself in front quickly to gather it. Now on attack, Panagheri. Back to Guskov. Cardwell on to goal shooter. Swings it into Panagheri. Here's Cardwell. She can sink them. She'll set herself up for the two pointer. Oh, nicely done. Great. So draws level now. Does that shot from Cardwell, so six points apiece. Contact keeper at Ronnie. Well, like yeah, wasn't it? I was wondering what was going to come. Had a cup of tea, then made a decision. Yeah, Nothing oh, wrong with that. <laughs> Here's Mvula. Stepping called, so England with an easy turnover here. Sasha Corbin. Gaskoff. For three, can she sink it? Three or two. Again, when you've got someone like Clark under the post, I reckon have a go at it. Three or two. You've got the height and the rebounder there, ready to go. A little undisciplined from Malawi. Caldwell, sorry, Cartwell, can't make them pay. So let off the hook there, Malawi. Can they capitalise this into goal? Malawi. Oh, well played. Great defensive pressure from England to get back and get up. Beautiful work from Dovey. And Galetti from the bench to right in the thick of the action. It's quite smart, really, isn't it? Wait till the play's right in front of you. I think I'll do a sub now. A couple of times where a player's come off the interchange and got their hand on the ball straight away. Cardwell puts England slightly ahead. Combo up to Mvula, Galetti. 
Oh, again, great defensive pressure. Davey getting over the shot. Chimalero giving away a fair bit of height. Came undone then. The drive from Corbin. Cardwell frees herself up from Ninguera. Final disruption goal shooter. Back and forward we go. And again to Gibson. Final disruption goal attack. It's a little bit ratty. I feel like someone just needs to take an easy one pointer. Settle this down a bit. Yeah, both teams looking for a bit of flow, a bit of connection. Goalkeeper. It's missing at the moment. Goalkeeper beside. Go beside. Clark's yep. going to try her hand from range. Throw him. Malawi. Time. So under two minutes now. Only a couple of points scored for both teams in this turn. Greer up, puts it into space for Galetti. Big combo, connects with Chimolero. Amy Carter came on quickly, rolling sub then. Bonus attraction centre. Into centre for England. Vula strong on the hole, good angle. She's an impressive athlete, isn't she, in the air? Absolutely. So a minute 20 on the clock, seven all. Long one range, one range shot for Cartwell. Back in front by a single point. Oh, how important these power plays are going to be the next two quarters, given the deadlock at the moment. Oh, beautiful setup. Went up high, got Doby stuck there, and then created some great space in full up. Malawi really just ticking the ball over in that one point range. Here's Corbin. Cardwell happy to go for two. Radar right still a little off from the English shooter. Final construction goal attack. Chimolero goes back to Maguira. Oh, good to Carter. Center third. It's to go up and rip that ball in. Center third. Well, it's a job and a half. Keeping up with the speed of Galetta, and she's doing a great job. <laughs> Again, good easy access to find Mvula. Not disappointing in that goal shooter position. Oh, Josh, look at Kadeem Corbin. Well, the radar stays off for Carwell, but it is Malawi in front at the main break. They lead by one point. Nine goals to eight against England. It's been teasing us in the first half. This game is ready to explode. England in possession to get things underway. Here's Emma Dovey. Deacon power play right here for the English. George Fisher back on to goal shooter. Oh, working away backwards, just wants to get inside the circle and get some definite ones. Interesting take on it. So two points for that one in the power play. Every score is doubled. And England edge ahead by a single point now. Here's Malawi in possession. Vula up on the transverse line. Combo. Long ball into Mvula, takes it well. Chimolero, well short, and Doby comes away with the rebound. Which team would you rather be right now? Would you rather have your power play in the third and try and blow them out of the water, or do you want to know what you've got to chase and have your power play in the last? It's based on the way the game is going, you'd probably go to last, considering it's been so uncertain and different by both teams, but it's critical that England really fire up in this third because you have no idea what Malawi will roll out in the fourth. It's a tough one to pick, isn't it? Lawazi up to Mvula, kicking that scoreboard over. Back to a two-point game. Corbin, Fisher, six-point range. Works the ball around. She's down, she's up. She wants it again. This for four. George Fisher. Oh, well, both sides did not utilise their power plays in the last games. They played only six points each. 
side. They need to do a lot better than that. Kumbo working the ball through. Mvula, Lawazi. Oh, Guskov hunting. She had a good look at it, didn't she? Just couldn't get a full body there. Yes. Guskov caught out of the circle. Lawazi. Chibolero back to go forward. Every pass ticks down the clock. Use it is the call from the umpire. And Vula, two point territory. Using the post as means of support, three pass and right. Oh, I was going to say, Chimalera be doing well to have gotten that rebound, the shortest person in the circle by far. Even with the turnover here. Dovey, Fisher, Panagari. Oh, great defence, Malawi. Great anticipation, come away with possession. So just halting the progress of the English in this power play turn. Well, it's only three minutes in. It's definitely England's best power play quarter. They're sitting on the eight points for the quarter already. And Malawi's staying in touch nicely. Sasha Corbin quickly into the mix. Here she is again. Up to Fisher. She's going for another four pointer. The 20 year old. Clark strong on the rebound under the post. Well, it's still two points. It's still adding up here for England. Keeping in mind that Malawi's got their power play in the very next quarter. They really need to push this out as much as they can. Dovey has a fly, just misses it. Chimolero shooting over Guskov. Dribble short, great strength and Vula. Oh, lucky, I thought she had her hands on that one first. So let off the hook momentarily, England. And England can really make them hurt here. Clark regathers her balance. Simply slots the ball through. Nine point lead. A minute 40. Well, it's a 12 to 2 quarter. Cody Gibson tapped into the game at goal defence for England. Marking Chimolero. Stitches it off to her goal attack. Carter back in. Oh, no pressure on Carter either. The centre pass and then she was on circle edge undefended momentarily. That's a huge shot. Kept in from Clark. That's the basketball background. Second Barnett at Fisher. Again, across the face of the goal. Oh, Clark doing a beautiful job to keep this ball alive for England. So we're under a minute. The last 50 seconds here of the power play for England. Can they get another defensive stop here and turn it into a goal? All hands on deck defensively for the defending champs. And Malawi won't be in a hurry. Contact on keeper. Guskov busted for the contact. Contact outside the circle. Three. Again, they're well, really doing well. They're chewing the clock up here. The umpire trying to stay on top of it. Oh, and that's going to hurt. It's a timely three-pointer from Chimolero. Really puts Malawi within striking distance. Oh, the England bench not happy there. I suspect that should have gone the other way. Umpire didn't see it. Karen Atkinson and Karen Gregg, the coaches. The Karen squared. <laughs> G Malawi have handled this power play quarter against them very, very nicely. Well and truly in touch, trailing by just seven points. It's England in front, 22 to 15. Or will it be a comeback from Malawi? Malawi fans, this could be your time. They are in the Deacon power play for the last six minutes. This could be a very interesting final term. You'd have to feel pretty confident for your Malawi. Only seven points in it, now just five points in it.
And Jamaica, well, we saw that they did with the power play. 24 points earlier today. So let's see how England tackle this last six minutes. Gibson all the way back. Finds Amy Carter. Connects with Fisher. Step is the call. Not the one she would want, that's for sure. So a turnover for Malawi here. Chimilero back with Mukumbo. Patient, patient, working the ball through. Mawazi always there, always offering. Oh, Gascot did exceptionally well and for one of the strongest holds in the game. So a second chance here for England. Gibson. Well, intent to slow it up is there. Going back, first option. Fisher. Cardwell wanted it. They ignored her. And they paid for it because Vincumbo comes flying through for the intercept. Guskoff almost, but Mvula wanted it more. Yeah, she did well, didn't she? It looked like it was Guskoff's ball for sure. And again, beautiful, beautiful setup too. She pushes her player up high, creates that hold, that backspace drop. Great connection, Lawazi and Mvula. So three points the difference. Ominous signs here for England. As Malawi slowly, slowly claw their way back. Fisher dribbles that one through. Four minutes left in this game. Both teams get to win here. Vula, work rate is exceptional. Chimalera for two. It will be four. Oh, and a second bite at it too. With Mvula home alone for a rebound, you'd have to back yourself and have a go, and she does. And there's the end result. She'd been looking for it, and she found it. Here come Malawi. Well, it's even now, and they still have the power play this quarter. England's got to start going for some three-pointers, surely. They've got to get their hands hot, both Corbin and Fisher, to give England any form of a chance in this one. Corbin drives the pocket, not used by Fisher. So the tick over three minutes here. Fisher for one point. Oh. Got to sink those two, if that's all that's on offer. Uh, and a little reckless and casual from Corbin, and away come Malawi quickly through court. This could be their chance to take control of this match. Lawazi, Chimalero. Oh, two beautiful offers. That's the safest one, it's still a two-pointer. Split those defenders beautifully, and Mvula delivers yet again. Out by two, Malawi. Must respond, England. The defending champions would love back-to-back, -back, but they're going to have to get some wins on the board. Fisher. Back to go forward. Well, the umpire's calling use it, but it's not for a lack of trying. The defensive pressure from Malawi outstanding. Corbin, just a steadying shot. They're still behind. Two minutes to play. One point ball game. Malawi, toying with England. Great outlet ball to find Mvula. Oh, here's the turnover. And guess who? Layla Guskov. And Gary into the action. Clark to Dovey. Oh, I need someone coming through. Malawi has picked up the defensive pressure. I know it's at stake here. Timing just a little bit out of whack from the English. They trial by one. Clark to change that. She can't. Fisher to level. Here's the work from Layla Gaskoff. Got the hand on it. The pick up and back up from Dovey. Closing speed is incredible, isn't it? And the right time to do it, too. All tied up, a minute to play. All the power with Malawi as they try and make the most of this power play quarter for them. 
Chimolero. Oh, Gas got again! Gas from and behind! Out. And the hustle. I tell you what, if England can get through this go game ahead, with a win, go they have done down, exceptionally go well. Go the doctor down back. Absolutely delivering. Yes, yes. Can Fisher and Clark reward? 30 seconds, 25 apiece. One point territory for George Fisher. Oh! <laughs> she bounces that shot through. She was willing it through. Malali, the pressure is on. They only need a close to the post shot for two points. Donovy tries for England. Eight seconds to play. Up to Umzuna. She's strong. Can she sink it? You betcha. You betcha. Joyce Umzuna. What a match.